Hello friends. You can see over here in Windows PC this is the Wi-Fi network connection problem. Not connected, you are not connected to any network. Currently my Wi-Fi is turned on and you can see over here it's a, some kind of logo you can see not connected no connection are available when I give a right click on it and click on open network and internet setting I get the not connected you are not connected to any networks so what are we gonna do in this case either you click on troubleshoot from here or just give a right click on right over here and then click on troubleshoot so in order to know what is exactly the issue you can see so if the problem is with the ethernet cable you can just unplug and plug in back again you can even try changing your ethernet cable but currently in case of my laptop I'm just using a Wi-Fi even Wi-Fi is not connecting so you can see check to see if the problem is fixed or skip this step now you can click on skip this step once you click on skip this step, it's going to show you what all are the different problem. If the network cable is broken, you're going to fix it by changing it or unplug it and plug in again. If the problem is with the Wi-Fi adapter, you can see it's a wireless AC 160 megahertz adapter is experiencing driver or the hardware related issue. If the issue is driver or the hardware related issue, what are we going to do? If the problem is similar as that of mine, you can just uh, go with the drive fixing driver issue first. Now, the next thing that you need to do is just close this. You knew it's a driver issue or the hardware issue. You can see the my computer or this PC. You right click on it and then click on manage. Here we have a manage. Now, in this manage, you are going to choose device manager. Inside device manager, you can see the Bluetooth is experiencing the driver issue. Even the network adapter, wireless adapter is also experiencing the driver issue. This is the sign of an issue. Now, what are you going to do if you have a driver issue? Just give a right click on it. Sorry guys. So if Bluetooth is experiencing the problem, just give a right click on it and click on update driver or click on scan for the hardware. At first click on scan for the hardware change. See if the problem is fixed. Okay, problem is not fixed. Actually, we in this tutorial, we are dealing with the network adapter. So let's go with the network adapter first. So inside the network adapter, you can see. So you skip this Bluetooth. For the Bluetooth, I'll just come up with another video. In this tutorial, only the network is you. So here's the network adapter. Just gonna give a click on it. Select the network adapter that is having an issue. You can see the yellow sign over here. That is the sign of issue. Give a right click on it. Click on scan for the hardware change. You can see the problem is not solved. Give a right click on it. Now you're gonna disable the driver. Click on yes to disable it. Give a right click on it and enable it back again. You can see the problem still exists. Give a right click on it, click on update driver. It can scan automatically or you can browse the driver from the computer if you have downloaded it manually. You can see is already installed. Base driver is already installed. That means we don't have a driver issue. Problem is still exists. What are you going to do? Give a right click on it and then uninstall it. Delete the driver software from this device. Okay, you don't have to do this. Do not check it. Just uninstall it. You have uninstalled. Now, what are you going to do? Just restart your PC. close everything and restart your PC you can see restarting once you have successfully restarted you have right click on my computer or this PC click on manage 
go to device manager and then you're gonna see guys problem is still exist now we have done everything go to properties you can see the same problem code 10 error the request operation was unsuccessful so what the next we're gonna do you need to know your laptop model number you can see this is my Dell G7 open the internet browser and then in the source section you're gonna type Dell G7 driver all right you're gonna type Dell G7 driver and then click on enter Currently, I have a network issue in my laptop. So for a while, you can use your friends or some other people laptop to download the driver and install it back again. When you search for the Dell G7 driver, you can see guys, mine is Dell G7. Your laptop might be some different brand or some maybe some different model. So you're gonna type the brand and model name and then you're gonna type drivers. So you're gonna see the drivers for the, for the Dell G7 in case of mine you can see you can see the website it's a dell.com it's an official website so good to choose official website to download the driver you can see driver and downloads so just click on it now here are, here you got a different option to choose you can choose the operating system and then if you if you have a format you can choose the different format to download it's good to you can see here you have a uh, lots of driver whether you want audio it's a chipset you can click on show all 45 and here you can download okay guys now you're gonna see here you have it's Intel some model number and Wi-Fi driver so you're gonna download the Wi-Fi driver now so this is my laptop brand and model number you can use your own laptop brand and model number and you need to download the Wi-Fi driver for that model number if you do not find it in the official website even you can take the help of some third-party website to download the Wi-Fi driver but it should match the laptop model number and brand Sometime even the Wi-Fi driver, it's a random Wi-Fi driver from the different model number or the different brand also works. So if you want, you can give a try. So give a moment to download it and you can copy it into your pen drive and take it into your computer and try installing it. You can see download is successful. Now you can click the show in folder. You can open the download folder and you can copy it to pen drive now you can open the folder here's the driver give a right click on it and run as administrator sometime you're gonna see this click on yes now you can choose install You will get the two different options. Check this box and click on install. You can see restart is required. Click on yes to restart. You can see guys, mine problem still exists. You will give a right click on it and go to properties. What is the next that you can try? Go to driver. Sometime you can see my option. I do not have the option. If you do not have an option, you cannot do anything. Proceed to the next step. But if you have a rollback driver option, so you just have to click on rollback driver and then try restarting your PC. It, it might fix the problem. If the problem still exists even after doing the rollback driver, proceed to the next step. The next step, what you're going to do? You can see here in a taskbar you have a network icon 
Just give a right click on it and then click on open network and internet setting. Once you open that, here you have a status. In a status, just come down and then here you have a lots of options. You're going to see here you have network reset. Click on this network reset and then click on click on yes you'll get the masses windows will shut down in five minutes click on close and then you can wait for five minutes your windows will shut down you can see you are about to sign out you have a two minute left you can just wait for two minutes and you'll be signed out of your PC you can see restarting. This should fix your issue. If the issue is still exists, proceed to the next method. If you guys are using any kinds of antivirus, make sure you turn it off first. Turn off your antivirus. You can disable it for a while. Along with the antivirus, for a while even you can disable the firewall. So you can go to the, your network icon, give a right click on it and go to open network and settings. Or you can just directly search here for the firewall. Once you open the network and setting, here you have come down somewhere you're gonna see Windows firewall. Here you have click on Windows firewall. Inside Windows firewall you're going to click on advanced setting click on yes and here, here you got the windows firewall advanced setting now on the top it's a windows defender and firewall security on the right side you're going to see over here here you have our properties so you're going to click on this properties now you can see in the domain profile you can just turn off firewall and click on apply and then OK. Once you have done it, restart your PC now. This should fix your issue. If the issue is still exist, if the problem is not solved, you can proceed to the next method. So the next thing now, you just have to restart your PC. Just restart your PC and then keep on pressing F2 key in your keyboard continuously. F2. So do not stop. You just have to keep on pressing F2 key. Now you can see entering into the setup. So anyway, you have to access a BIOS setting. So different device has a different ways to get into the BIOS setting. By default, normally you can press the F2 key continuously. F2. It's a function key, F2 key in your keyboard. Now, in the setting section, you just have to restore setting. At the bottom, here you have a restore option. So, just restore the setting in the BIOS setting. And somewhere, if you are using the newest version of a BIOS in the newest version of a laptop, newest model, newest brand, if you have a BIOS setting like this in some laptop or some desktop, BIOS setting really look different. So in the setting section, or you can just restore the setting. And even in the wireless, you can see these are two different switches. You just have to reset setting. Sorry guys, it's a restore setting. Even go to the wireless device enable option and then restore the setting. So this is the next thing that you can follow in order to fix the issue. If the issue is still exists, if your wireless uh, Wi-Fi problem, connecting problem in your desktop or the laptop or a network problem connecting in a desktop or a laptop is not fixed, even after doing the after doing the BIOS reset or restoring to the default BIOS, you can proceed to the one last final step. So this should definitely fix the issue guys. This solution is really very helpful and it helped many people. So be sure to restore the setting. Now you can just exit it once you have done it. So this is the 
very helpful and the usefulest step that you can follow. If the problem still exists, you can proceed to the next method. This is the final step you can follow in order to fix the issue. Just sort down the PC. Just sort your computer down. Once you have done it, if the power cable is plugged in, just unplug it. From the back of the laptop, you just have to remove the battery. Once you have removed your battery, just press the power button. You are going to see the power button in a laptop. So just press the power button for 5 to 10 seconds and then you can just plug in the battery again after 5 to 10 seconds and then you can just try to turn on your laptop. This is the very common solution that you can follow. This might uh, be also one of the power issue because of which you are getting the network problems. It's a kind of power cycle thing. So you can do it and then just turn off your lap turn on your laptop now. Okay guys, finally following all this step, you must be able to fix your network issue in your desktop or the laptop in your PC. You can see my Wi-Fi is connected now and I have an internet access. My Wi-Fi is connected and I have an internet access. So BIOS setting is really one of the very helpful and the useful way along with the restoring your BIOS to the default. Along with that, you can even try different other solution. So all these different solutions together, one either solution will definitely help you. If still the problem exists, you can just go to the shop or you can go to the place where you have purchased your laptop if it is in warranty and you can get a help from them. There might be some internal hardware issue. Because following all these steps, if you don't have any kind of hardware issue, this must help you guys. So guys, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe and comment. If you like this video, I'll catch you in the next video with a good stuff.